morning everybody it's me sissy how's everybody doing i'm playing hooky from work today so i thought i would share with you a full day of low carb eating when i'm not in a hurry or not at not working like on the weekends or on holiday but uh when i'm not in a hurry i start with a regular coffee and then i eat some breakfast when i'm in a hurry i have um what they call bulletproof coffee which I'll, I'll do a video of that and show you what I put in mine because I add a, a few extras because I'm always on the internet reading um, <laughs> if you this spice or this supplement or this or whatever will help but um, I do add turmeric to my bulletproof coffee because it helps with inflammation and I have one foot that is um, I've broken the foot a lot uh, I broke the foot once and I've broken the toes on it twice so it has a lot of inflammation in it and no matter what I do I can't seem to get it out but um, going low carb has taken all the pain out of it but anyway we get started with my cup of coffee which is just my regular coffee from my coffee maker um, a splash of heavy cream a few drops of stevia and a little bit of maple extract because I want it to be fall even though it was a hundred degrees here yesterday but I'm um, going to get my coffee started, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to have for my breakfast. Okay, we're going to make crunchy eggs. I saw this on um, Headbangers Kitchen. Um, he's got a great channel. I'll put a link to it below. Um, he has great recipes, lots of Indian food. Um, he's funny. He's in a heavy metal band, and I just love to hear him talk. But anyway, I've just sprinkled some um, about a fourth of a cup of cheese in the bottom of my pan. I'm going to let that start to melt and get brown. And then we're just going to crack two eggs on top of it. I like to break the yolk in mine. If you like a runny yolk, don't break it. Um, salt and pepper until he gets almost done. And then I'm going to flip it over to, to cook the top side of it. And that cheese on the bottom is going to make a crust on it. So it's going to be crunchy fried eggs. And that's going to be my breakfast. Um, that's probably about 300 calories. Probably 25 grams of fat and 15 grams of protein along those lines and very little carbs there's trace carbs in the eggs and this is pre-shredded cheese so there's probably a carb in it too so but anyway my cheese is getting melty let me put this camera down and uh, get my eggs cracked and I'll show you when it's okay, my cheese is all melty so now I'm gonna put my eggs in the pan I'm gonna do two eggs and then you want to get them right on top of the cheese so do that and then um, I just like to quick my egg my yolk because I'm not one of those runny yolk people I like it cooked so, there we go now we're just going to let that cook I'm going to add some salt and pepper but I can't do it with one hand so I'm going to put the camera down do some salt and pepper and we'll be back my crispy um, fried eggs so I'm now going to sit down and eat my breakfast and I will be back in a little bit a few hours mm. Mm, that's so good and crunchy so I'll put a link below to the headbangers kitchen where he made these eggs and you can see how how exactly he did it but anyway I'm gonna eat this get my coffee get my shower get dressed and um I'll see y'all after 12, maybe 1 or 2 for lunch. Mm. Okay, so I'm out running errands, and I think that I'm going to um, just grab something at McDonald's, um, a bunless burger. Um, usually I would just go to Wendy's, but I'm thirsty and I'm cheap, and McDonald's does have the $1 large size drink so I'm going to and their tea is much better than Wendy's so I'm gonna run through McDonald's and order and um, then you can see what I'm gonna get How may I help you? yeah I want to get a large unsweet tea and um, let me get a quarter pounder with cheese with no ketchup, no onions, and no bun. That's it. 538. 
it's a lot cheaper if you just get the um, two cheeseburgers. It'd be two dollars, but then they put them in two containers, and it's just easier to order. And you know, I have a love-hate relationship with McDonald's. I love their coffee. I love their tea. I hate their service because nine times out of ten, they're going to get my order wrong. Um, I actually went one time and ordered a cheeseburger, two cheeseburgers, no onions, no ketchup, no bun. I get it. I open my bag. I have two cheeseburgers with no bun, but it has onions and ketchup. I, I go get out of the drive-thru. I go in take it back into the store and tell them, look, I want no ketchup, no onions, and no bun. They make me another one. They give it to me. I look in the bag. It looks all right. I get in the car. I open it and go to eat it. And and I see ketchup, a little drop of ketchup. And I'm like, Why? where is this ketchup coming from? And I look under the cheese. There was ketchup and onions. So... I gave them their burger back. Now, I have not been back to that same McDonald's. This is a different McDonald's. Um, so, hopefully, they will be able to get my order correct. We'll see. And, uh, McDonald's, I mean, this is not the best thing. There's not a lot of um, fat. It's a lot of protein from the meat. Um, there's a little bit in the cheese. It's not really real good cheese. But, um, it would be better if it had some mayo on it. But, um they just have like special sauce or whatever but uh, at home I would add mayonnaise but I'm just gonna eat this maybe later on I'll have a fat bomb or something to kind of even it out I'll check my macros on um, my fitness pal and see usually I don't worry about it too much but um, depends on what I have for supper I'm thinking I might have zoodles with hamburger and spaghetti sauce and you know, that's really fatty so but we'll we'll look at it when we get home okay so we got an order from mcdonald's and um it looks it looks pretty good um they put it in a little bowl with a little sad lettuce leaf but um, i'm gonna go ahead and eat this and um go buy a little grocery okay. shop and i may well, show y'all last full meal today i did make a bowl of uh, zoodles with meat sauce um, this has right at seven carbs in it. It might be a little bit over, but I've been really light on the carbs all day, so I don't think that one or two extra carbs in this is gonna um, mess me up. So, but anyway, it's um, zoodles with pasta sauce with a little bit of cream cheese and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So you can um, just be looking for that recipe um, on my channel soon. But anyway, I'm gonna go eat this and. If I'm hungry later on, which I probably will not be, I'll show you if I have a snack before I go to bed. Okay, this is one of my favorite go-to snacks. All it is is I sprinkled a little bit of grated cheese in the bottom of the, my nonstick skillet. <coughs> Cut a boiled egg in half and put a half on each little pile of cheese. A little salt and pepper on the back. And I'm going to heat that cheese till it melts. And it starts getting crispy around the edges and then I'm gonna have me some crispy boiled eggs um, this is great sometimes I have this late at night for um, not late at night but late for me like nine o'clock I have this for a snack if um, I'm not quite full from the day so um, and sometimes I like to have this for breakfast it just depends on Sundays I usually boil a dozen eggs and have them in the refrigerator so um, I I might, hey, would y'all like to see a video of how what I do with my boiled eggs? Because I'm not one just to eat a boiled egg. I've got to do something with it. So I could do, I think I'm going to do a video and show you how I cook my boiled eggs and uh, the different ways that I eat them during the week. But anyway, this is the end of my, this is my last um, meal of the day for my full day of keto eating. Um, and this, I'll probably add a little bit of mayonnaise on the side. Or some sour cream. It just depends on so what I So, that's it. That was my full day of eating keto. Um, let me know if you'd like to see a video about the, the boiled eggs and how I'm doing it. And I'm going to do an update on my eczema. is really much better. So, I'll do a, a vlog and um, tell you what I've started doing that really... Um, I don't know if it's coincidence or if it really was what has helped my skin 
but um, be looking for that. And I'm sorry I've been so long, but we had the hurricane and I was out of power. Y'all may have seen the rant that I filmed with my phone. But anyway, remember, if Sissy can do it, you can do it too. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.